Hey guys, I'm ready for another art lesson with your friendly neighborhood art teacher. And I'm going to be showing you today how to make an origami bookmark. So, this is another one of my classes where I've, or lessons where I've put us together in an age group. So, this is for you know, seven to nine years old, second grade to third grade. That doesn't mean you have to be that age. You can be older, you can be younger, and you can give it a try. But before we go too far, let's talk about what we're going to need. You are going to need copy or lined paper. It's going to look really tempting to use construction paper if you have it, but the things that you see in this that are actually in color have been made with colored copy paper. Trust me from experience when I say that construction paper is actually kind of hard to use. It folds hard, it folds really thick, you don't want to do copy paper. Um, you are going to need some scissors. It is optional for you to have tape or coloring supplies. So let's look at some of these little uh, corner bookmarks that I've seen on the internet and we're going to make one. So we've got little monsters that could be chewing on the edge of your book, or in one case, just a cookie. We've got some other optional things. Again, these are people who have made extra stuff to put on top of theirs. Or you don't even have to do that. You could just draw something on it. There's some super cute little emoji bookmarks there. So these are the steps. I'm going to walk you through them, but this is also going to be in the... Uh, folder this whole PowerPoint so if you need to look at it you can so let's look at the document at camera first of all you need to start with a square sheet of paper and for those of you who don't know or don't know how to make a square sheet of paper I'm going to show you how because this is not a square sheet of paper this is a rectangle it doesn't work that way so we're going to take this corner and I'm going to bend it down and fold it over until it touches this side of the paper and when I fold it it needs to make it pretty even along that line. Some of you are thinking couldn't I just measure one with the ruler? Yes you certainly can please do if you want to but this is another quick and easy way to do this and then when you are done cut off this bottom part and you have made a square piece of paper to use for the origami. This is the one that I end up making with mine. So this is the size that it's going to be. I made a much smaller square that I'm going to be using for another one. But I will show you the uh, example, or I'll show you how to make it with the big sheet just so you can see it. So once you've got your square, you're gonna take your square and you're going to fold it in half like a triangle. Then I'm going to take this point, and I'm going to fold it up to this point, which means it should be about even, or it's going to be about halfway. I'll take, I'm going to fold. Then I'm going to take that one, and I'm going to fold it also that way. I'm pressing down just to make sure that they've come back. And ta-da, I'm going to open it up. I've got this nice little triangle and a diamond. Now... I'm going to take this top point and I'm going to fold it down to the middle and it should stay even with those two folds that I just made there. Open it back up. I know it's a lot of folding and then opening back up. So next I'm going to close this but I'm going to leave the top this back here open. So I'm going to fold this guy up and I take and you wrap through and then push down and see how it kind of made a little envelope. Do the same thing up here with this guy. Come back through, tuck it in, and you have made your bookmark. The sleeve goes in there or the sleeve, the page goes in there at the corner. Now let's take a look at my other little one. Yeah, all right, so here's my little guy. Here's the big one that I just made with you guys. Either one is fine, you use whatever you want. So if I use my little guy for some of my pretty big books, I might actually make it a little bit easier to slide into. So 
that's how it will work. Now, you can decorate that one. But hey, do you have to just decorate that side? No. You can also totally turn this over and use this part as your decoration. I did mine kind of like it was a treasure map. Say like you are here. You know, X marks the spot and that kind of stuff. And when you look back through the PowerPoint, there's a whole bunch of the other ones that look like they are little monsters. You are more than welcome to do anything like that on them. You can decorate them how that you would like. So, that is your easy origami lesson for today. Hey guys, this is a message going out from kindergarten all the way up to fifth grade. It's been crazy since we've started doing this virtual learning. And I have actually really enjoyed making these lessons, these online videos for you. So I'm probably going to continue making some over the summer. Keep an eye out for them. And I'll probably be making some over the next school year too. So you can always have some little extra art lessons from me. I have missed you guys. I'm very happy that you've ch come and joined me. I love to see your artwork, so you can always put stuff in the uh, Google folders. You can email me. Uh, you guys know the email is afranzandamanaacademy.org. And I missed you guys a lot. I will see you next year. Have a good summer.